What's up everybody, droidlife.com. I'm gonna show you just a quick tutorial today on how to install a custom theme on top of a custom ROM. Um, I'm running CyanogenMod 5057, so I'm gonna use ROM Manager. Uh, for those of you using Ultimate Droid, um, I don't know if you've heard, they kind of broke up from ROM Manager, so they split off, so there's not gonna be a lot of support left for their um, custom ROMs and themes in ROM Manager, but this is basically the step you're going to go through no matter what, whether you're using ROM Manager or Ultimate Droid's new ROM Manager to change themes. It's all going to be similar. So I'll show you Cyanogen Mod. You can take it on from there. So really what we need to do is first of all, make sure we got the newest Clockwork Mod Recovery, and it'll tell you that when you open it up. Next thing we do is just go into Download ROM. And in here, you're going to see all kinds of stuff. Um, you can go into Cyanogen Mod and there should be you know all the roms for cyanogen mod in there and kernels and things like that um, but if you go out here and look you'll see they got all kinds of other stuff listed in here like fork up which is themes and add-ons for cyanogen clean looks which is a theme for cyanogen hagzomatic which is themes for droids cyanogen stuff like that um, so there's a bunch of stuff in here and this process is really pretty simple i'm just going to show you the smoked glass esque one because it's probably the most popular one you'll see out there and i know it says right here that it can be installed over cyanogen 5054 um, they just haven't updated that yet if you actually go in and look at it you'll see right up top there version 1.3 is for 5057 so first tip i should probably tell you is make sure you're installing a theme that is compatible with whatever rom you're running so as you can see in smoked glass esque he's got one for 5057 56 Six, five, four, and five, four, and so on. So make sure you get one that at least says that it's compatible with the current ROM that you're running. So, um, so from there, really all we have to do is just tap on the version that we want, and it'll go ahead and download it. Now I already have this in my cache, so or in my ROM manager folder, so it's already been downloaded. But for you, you'll get the little Clockwork Man ROM guy right up there, or Clockwork Mod Recovery guy right up there, and it'll download. You know, and it'll tell you the the status and all that stuff and when it gets done downloading you'll get this and since we're not flashing a new ROM that's on a different build or anything like that we don't really need to click either of these um, if you want to do a backup just in case you're scared that this theme might not you know install correctly it's probably a good idea to do a backup I've got a ton of backups like I always say so I'm gonna go ahead and skip that one but wipe data and cache you definitely don't need to check if you're just installing a theme over top of your ROM don't worry about doing wipe data and cache you're almost always fine there so then all we need to do is just tap OK it's gonna tell us that we're gonna reboot so we can just tap OK and let your phone go ahead and boot and it should go right into Clockwork Mod Recovery, and it should start flashing over all the new theme stuff. Um, since it's just a theme, you can kind of look at that as just being sort of a skin on top of your current ROM. It's not really changing out a bunch of stuff, it's just sort of changing the look of stuff. So it's, it's a pretty simple change, and it actually should be pretty fast. You can see right here we're installing update, it just means it's installing uh, the smoked glass, and there it goes, it's already done. So from there it's gonna boot, and we shouldn't have any problems. We shouldn't get stuck at the M logo. We shouldn't get stuck at the droid, the droid I or anything like that. Because we didn't change anything. We didn't change a kernel. We didn't change a ROM. Really, all we did was just put a skin or a theme on top of our current ROM. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we should be booting back up now. And if everything worked correctly, we should have the Smoked Glass-esque theme on top of our Cyanogen 5057. And Smoked Glass-esque essentially just means that it's gonna have that dark, glossy, glassy look. And smoked meaning dark. So this will also give you that uh, black taskbar up top, which you've seen on a lot of the screenshots I've taken. And it'll change your, uh, I think your 3G bar, your battery meter. You know, it does change the look of everything. And that's essentially what a theme is supposed to do is change the look of everything. Okay, so here we go. We are in. So I'll go ahead and unlock. And as you can see right up top there, our bar has been changed to black. And there you can see our uh, 3G, our battery's different, everything's black. And everything should have that kind of smoked glass, glossy look to it. Um, I can whip this down I guess I should probably let everything load up first you can see it's loading my beautiful widgets um but like you can see I didn't have to do wipe data and cache it should keep everything on all of my home screens you can see all my all my applications are exactly in the same spot I left them 
and that's essentially how you install a custom theme. Um, once your phone reboots, it's a good thing to just kind of let it, give it a minute so it can speed back up and get your set CPU running and all that stuff. But uh, anyway, if you got comments, questions on how to install themes, 